Ulama has got this new app where we can actually interact with Llama which we have seen in the previous video. However, for enterprise use cases, this interface might not work and we have to design our own custom interfaces. Today, in this tutorial, I am going to teach you how you can create your own custom interface such as this and you can interact with Llama. All of this I am going to do in a step by step manner. So in case you are beginner to a Llama and you want to create something like this, continue watching the video. Today, to make this chat interface, we would need a little bit of Python knowledge and Python installed on your computer. In case you are absolutely new to Python and you do not have Python installed on your machine, please follow this complete playlist which I have hooked up in the description that will guide you on how do you install Python, how do you set up VS code and all of the details in a step by step manner. Because if I have to create my custom interface and use Olama with that, I would need to write code and I prefer to use the VS code. You can use any other editor as well. But if you also like to follow this and you would like to install VS code, the same video is also available, right? So today I would be using the VS code and the Python to create our custom UI interface and get the response from Llama. I hope that is clear. And with that, let's get started. Okay, so now to get started with first thing first is you would need the Visual Studio code installed on your machine, which looks something like this. Okay, then you would go to your folder structure into the folder structure. I am using this folder D drive code tutorials by Mukesh Kala and then I have created a blank folder. So the whole idea is I'm going to use this folder to code today's project, right? So all you have to do is just go here and create any folder I am calling this olama underscore streamlit underscore chat okay now into your visual studio code you would have an option here which is called open folder and then I'll simply point it to the same location which is code tutorials by Mukesh Kala this and I say select the folder and that should open the folder for me into the Visual Studio code, right? So everything, whatever we are going to do, we are going to do in this one. Okay. Then I can simply go to the terminal here and I'll say new terminal and that will open a new terminal for me where I can install all the dependencies, whichever are required to make this successful. Okay. Please remember I have already installed Python, everything uh, like uh, Python, Python interpreter is also added. So in case you don't have this setup and anything is missing, Please do refer the Python playlist. Okay. The next thing I want to do is I want to create a virtual environment so that my code is segregated from the rest of the solutions, right? So I'm writing this command Python minus M V E N V V E N B and I say enter and that should create a virtual environment for me, right? And you can see that inside the folder, which was initially blank. Now we have something which is called the virtual environment, right? So that way you create a virtual environment and then to work with Python in case you are already aware of Python, once you create the virtual environment, then all you need to do is just you have to activate the virtual environment. Okay. So to activate the virtual environment, I'm typing this command venb scripts activate. What does that mean? Inside your folder, if you see streamlit, you already have the venb folder inside the scripts and then you have this one, which is the activate file, right? So I'll just say enter and that will change your setup to something like this, where you would have the venb in the green. And that means that now you have the virtual environment activate activated inside this folder right so i hope you guys are able to follow along till this point if that is the case maybe just mention virtual environment created into the comments so that i understand you were able to reach till this point okay let's move forward once the environment is created the next thing is i need something to create interfaces and that's where i want you to introduce to something which is called streamlit some of you might be hearing Streamlit for the first time. Streamlit is a library which is available in Python so that we can build our own custom interfaces or the web application. That's what we want to do, right? So now into my virtual environment, I am going to write a command, which is this pip 
installed streamlit space olama right and that is adding the streamlit package to my project which will look something like this right so i have this command pip space install streamlit space llama right so totally we have used three commands the first one was this python minus m v n b script add and then we activated the ulama right you can just type this command pause the video and then you should have the streamlit installed on your python if you are able to follow along just comment down streamlit okay so once that is done now it's our time to create the app and to create the app you can simply click on the project and then you have something which is called new file okay at the top right and then i'll just name it as app.py and that will create the app.py for me please see my location i have created it outside the virtual environment by mistake if you have created inside you can just drag and drop it outside so the file is here which is called app.py okay i can minimize this and then maybe i'll just do it like this so it's easy to view okay so next what i'm going to do is i am going to copy paste some of the instruction from my other monitor to this and i would keep you explaining so that it is easy for you guys to remember and build the solution okay so the first thing is we have added the streamlet right so i'm going to import the streamlet import streamlet as st right so whatever we just imported we are giving it an alliance which is st that will give me the interface right the next thing is we want to use olama so i'll just type this one which is called from olama import the chat okay now what does this chat do so chat from olama package is used to send the messages to the model whichever model i plan to use today i already have installed llama 3 and some of mistral i guess so if i want to interact with that model i would use this chat to send a message to olama okay so i hope these two clients are clear the next thing is when you create the interface what do you want the title of the interface right so i'll hit enter and i'll just say that the title for my interface should be this chat with llama 3 via olama okay this was the same thing which you were seeing on the screen into st dot title st as the name suggests it is again coming from the streamlit so from the streamlit i want to have a page the title of the page should be this very clear right and into the double quote you just have to mention whatever you want to have your page you can create it for insurance banking finance that depends on your use case okay now since we are creating a chat kind of interface i want to make sure that the history of the messages is retained so that when olama is responding it has those messages and for that we have a simple two line command which says if double quote messages not in the session state of this st dot session state messages equal to this and that is going to keep the history of the previous messages okay now once you have the messages how you are going to display those messages right so for that i am just going to write again three lines of code just after this where i say that display the past messages from msg into st dot session state with st dot chat message message is called to rule st dot write message content right you can just pause the video and you can just type it on your own so that you remember the syntax okay i would also upload this code and i'll tell you where you can find this code so you can directly download this as well okay now the next thing is we want to actually write something where we can actually handle the user input and to handle the user input the code which you have to write is this where i say if the prompt right str input your message session state i am just going to add the message to the session state so whatever message the user has given i am going to add that message to the session and now here comes the important part which is the 
response and how do you call the ulama so till this point we have kept all the messages of the user into a session now now there is a point where we want to send that message to ulama and here it is right where we are saying that how do you send the conversation history to lama so till this point everything is stored into the session messages so response is a response variable and chat is the ulama chat and there we are passing this information model which is the lama 3 latest remember into our previous videos of the lama we have installed lama 3 latest you can watch the videos how you can pull a any other model and the other parameter for this chat is something which is called messages so what i am telling is whatever session messages you have just pass it to that and stream is equal to false okay now what i am going to do is i am going to put this message back into a assistant message variable okay and then all we have to do is whatever the response we have got we have to show it back into the streamlet and for that i am just going to write these two lines of code okay st dot session message dot append role assistant and this and session message is equal to whatever you have just write the assistant message and these 30 lines of code 30 are enough for having an interface into the description of the video i will also post a github link which you can directly click and you can download the code from there as well okay now once you have this code available i hope you guys are able to follow along then all we have to do is we have to just run this now once you have completed the code now to trigger that assistant or the chat interface you have to come to the back to the same area and please remember two important things the first thing is your app.py should be saved there should be no dot dot here indicating that the code is not saved if the code is saved you need to do just to a control plus s right and then you should be inside the virtual environment if you are not inside the virtual environment just follow this command right which is virtual environment dot activate and that should activate the virtual environment for you okay streamlit run app dot py so from the streamlit library run app dot py if you have created it something with other name create uh, use that name and say enter now when you hit enter you would see that your browser window automatically popping up and showing something like this right and you also have a url here localhost 8501 which is available here as well now what you see here this is the chat interface which we have just built using llama now let's say ask something what is ai and this should go to my ulama and it should respond and by the way if i can go back here yeah it's still working right and you can see that i am getting the answers here that what exactly is this right i can also ask it a question right what model are you right i have installed the llama 3 so now you can see that at the top it is running i can see this happening right and here it is i am a transformer based language called conversational ai blah, blah blah and you are able to create your own custom interfaces right so today in this i have just used a simple code but but if some some of you might not get this response the reason for that is to have this thing up and running you should have the llama app working on your computer okay make sure that you have triggered the llama app if llama is not working this thing won't respond because in the code we have ask it to respond from llama 3 which was i guess here so llama 3 latest model is already installed that's why it is able to respond and that completes the session 
I hope you guys were able to follow along and if that is the case maybe just comment down successfully completed so I understand you were able to follow along and your custom interface is ready. Now what else you can do here? Depending on your enterprise requirement you can now create applications around it. For example I can create my own login page. I can have a functionality where I want to upload the file and ask a question to Llama by disconnecting the machines from the internet, right? Even today, if I disconnect my machine from the Wi-Fi, I would be still able to get the response from my custom interface as well because it is running on my local and hosted on my local host, right? You can create, build, design good web pages and you just have to invoke this piece of code which we have just written today and all sorted right so i hope you guys were able to follow along any more questions any more doubts feel free to write me in the comments or you can also drop me an email as well right so with this wrapping this video here thank you guys for watching this content i would appreciate your feedback and see you in the next one if you like this content make sure to subscribe to the channel bye